so this is Gray. Uh, Gray sustained trauma to his face, which we think was probably due to being hit by a car about a week ago. Um, he initially had a jaw fracture in the very front of his bottom jaw, which you can see has been wired shut to keep that in place. So the bottom of his jaw is now, that fracture is stabilized. He also has a fracture on the top of his mouth, which should heal. Um, he had significant swelling and he has some trauma to his eye, which is causing some bleeding within the eye, which I'm not sure if you can see, but you're probably not going to be able to see, but there is some blood within the eye caused by the trauma that we're hoping will resolve with medications. His main problem right now is that he also has a fracture in the back of his right jaw back over here, and it's causing his jaw to be malaligned. So you can see here the front teeth and the bottom teeth don't line up, and that's because it's, it has a malocclusion from his jaw fracture. And that is what Gray needs to have fixed now. So the plan tomorrow is to have his teeth kind of bound together with a type of dental cement, and then we're going to place a feeding tube into his esophagus right through, through his neck so that we can feed him while his teeth are, are wired shut or, or cemented shut. And we're hoping that that will just help his jaw to not move. It will stabilize the fracture so that it can heal on its own. And that's the plan for him tomorrow. So once that's done, once he has his, his teeth bound together and he has the feeding tube in, he'll be completely healthy and, um, and, and able to, to do everything. He'll just need tube feedings through his tube. And once his jaw fracture is healed, we can remove the tube and he should live a completely normal life and have full use of his jaw. So that's, that's what the plan is tomorrow, and that's what little Gray needs, and, and hopefully he'll be able to go to someone's home and, and be a perfectly healthy cat for the rest of his life.